Hey everyone, welcome back to 9 to 5 Linux, where we make Linux accessible and fun. If you're running Fedora and feeling bogged down by those constant updates, or just craving a smoother, more refined experience, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into how to migrate from Fedora to Pop OS, a Ubuntu based distro that's all about stability, user friendliness, and top notch hardware support. I'll walk you through the process step by step based on real-world tips from official docs, community forums, and user experience. Let's get started. So why make this switch? First off, let's talk about why you might want to leave Fedora behind. Fedora is fantastic. It's cutting edge with the latest software and a strong focus on open source principles. But its semi-rolling release model means frequent updates that can sometimes lead to instability or require extra tweaking, especially if you're not a power user. On the flip side, PopOS, created by System76, offers a more polished ride. It's built on Ubuntu's stable foundation, so updates are predictable and less disruptive. You'll get excellent out-of-the-box support for things like NVIDIA graphics, multimedia codecs, and even gaming. No need to hunt down third-party repos like RPM Fusion right away. Plus, with features like the upcoming Cosmic Desktop in version 24.04, it's super intuitive for everyday use. If you're into hardware integration or just want a distro that just works, PopOS could be your new home. Users on forums like Reddit often praise it for feeling more beginner-friendly while still being powerful for developers and creators. So, now preparing for your migration. Before we touch anything, preparation is the key to avoid headaches. Start by backing up your data. This is non-negotiable. Copy important files like documents, photos, and download to an external drive, a USB stick, or cloud services such as Cloud Drive or Nextcloud. For a full system backup, Tools like TimeShift or rsync work great on Fedora. Just run something like this command which I am showing on the screen in your terminal to mirror your home directory. Next, make a list of your installed software. In Fedora, use rpm-qa greater installed underscore packages.txt to export a list of packages. This will help you reinstall equivalents on PopOS later. Also, Note any custom settings like browser extensions or dot .files in your home folder. You can zip those up for easy transfer. If you are dual booting with Windows or another operating system, double check your bootloader setup to avoid conflicts. And hey, test PopOS in a live USB session first to ensure it plays nice with your hardware. Now, installing PopOS. Alright. Time for the main event, installation. Head over to the official System76 website at pop.system76.com and download the latest ISO. Go for the NVIDIA version if you have compatible graphics for seamless driver support. Verify the download with the provided checksums to make sure it's legit. Now, create a bootable USB. On Fedora, you can use tools like Fedora Media Writer or the dd command, which I am showing on the screen right now. Replace SDX with your USB device. Restart your computer and enter your BIOS, usually by pressing F2, delete or escape. Disable secure boot if it's on and select the USB as your boot device. Boot into the live environment and launch the installer. Choose your language, keyboard layout, then opt for clean install if you are overwriting Fedora entirely. This erases the drive. So backups are crucial. For more control, pick custom, which is advanced, to use gparted for partitioning. If you want to keep your home partition separate, handy for preserving files, format the root partition as ext4 and mount your existing or home. Enable full disk encryption for added security. You can tie it to your use a password or set a separate one. Follow the prompts to set up your user account. 
and let the installer do its thing. Once done, reboot, remove the USB and login. PopOS will guide you through initial setup, like connecting to Wi-Fi and updating the system. Now, transferring software and configuration. With PopOS installed, let's get you a stuff pack. Open the Pop Shop. It's like Fedora's software center, but more streamlined. Search for and install essentials like Firefox, VLC, or LibreOffice. For developer tools, if you had things like Git or VS Code on Fedora, they are available via APT. Just sudo apt update and then sudo apt install git code. To transfer settings, connect your backup drive and copy over your home folder files. For example, restore browser profiles or .config folders using this command. But be cautious, as some configs might not translate perfectly between GNOME, Fedora's default and PopOS customized desktop. If you are missing drivers, like for printers or Wi-Fi, check the pop shop or run sudo apt install system76 driver for system76 specific tweaks. And one pro tip, since Fedora uses RPM and PopOS uses dev packages, you can't directly copy installed apps, but flat packs or snaps work across distros. Enable them if needed for consistency. Now, final touches and troubleshooting. To make PopOS feel like home, customize away. Install themes and extensions via the Extensions app or explore PopShell for advanced window tiling. It's built in and super handy. Dive into system tools like the built in monitor or keeping tabs on performance. If things go sideways, common hiccups include bootloader issues, fix the sudo update group, NVIDIA glitches. Reinstall drivers from Pop Shop or Wi Fi woos, ensure kernel modules are loaded. Check System76 support site, the PopOS subreddit, or forums for solutions. They are active and helpful. If you are coming from Fedora's newer kernels, note that PopOS might feel a tad behind, but it's more stable for it. And that's it. You are successfully migrated. PopOS should give you that polished experience without the update overload. If this helped, hit that like button, subscribe for more Linux guides, and drop your questions in the comments. What distro are you switching from next? See you in the next video. Peace out.